Hey everyone, it's Gita, and today I'm gonna to be taking you along a full week of having curly hair and what it's like. So we're first gonna walk through my day one hair, which is today, and I'm gonna take you through step by step what I did for my wash day routine. So I'm really gonna be assessing my hair and explaining my thought process for what products that I'm choosing. Hopefully this is fun and helpful for you. Let me know in the comments down below which day is your favorite. I will be sharing with you my before and after results each day. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, so it is Monday and I actually have the day off today, so I'm excited to be taking you along as I wash and style my hair today. I currently have my hair up in a bun because I just finished a workout, which is why I'm in workout clothes, but I do have an oil treatment in my hair right now. I actually use this from Curls. It's the Blueberry Bliss Hair Growth Oil. I've had this for a really long time and I never really reach for it, but I've been trying to do more scalp massages and oil treatments on my scalp to help with hair growth. It's been about four days, which is usually how long I go in between my washes. So to me, it's not too bad. I can just tell that it's getting a little producty. So kind of tingly. I try to detangle a little bit with my hands as I was applying the oil. That's a really great way to kind of detangle without causing breakage is detangle with some oil, sort of like a pre-poo treatment. Real quickly, before I start shampooing, I do wanna show you what I'm gonna be using for shampoo. So I'm gonna be kind of taking you along as a first impression. I just got this product as part of an influencer box um, where you get to try out samples and stuff. This is by Live Clean. This is the apple cider detox shampoo. So this is a clarifying shampoo. It does have a type of sulfate in it, but it says it's SLS free. So I think it's a more mild sulfate, um, but it's still stronger than your typical sulfate free shampoo. So I would consider this more of a clarifying shampoo and it does say detox shampoo. It also has apple cider in it, which you guys know I love doing apple cider vinegar rinses. So that should help with balancing the pH sealing the cuticle, all that kind of stuff. So I'm out of the shower, just took down my hair, and now I always like to feel it after I try out a shampoo. So right now I only have the shampoo in my hair, or I rinsed the shampoo out, so I haven't used any conditioner yet. And at first in the shower, I felt stripped at the roots. That's why I kept like feeling it, because I was like, why is the root feel so squeaky clean and the rest doesn't feel stripped. This part does not feel stripped, which is probably because I had the oil in my hair. I would like to test this without having the oil in first, but I had already done that yesterday. The next thing I always test is if I scratch my scalp, do I still see some product have product under my nails? That's really frustrating, and I did it twice. So but I am gonna go ahead and do my Olaplex treatment. You do have to shampoo after you use this, so maybe when I do that, I will use a shampoo brush, but I really don't want to rough up my hair too much, so that sucks. I don't know what I did wrong there. I, I did it twice, so this is definitely trial and error. That's what these videos are, so you can see kind of how I assess if I like products. And I don't necessarily have buildup per se, but I do get product on my scalp. You know, when I'm applying products and everything, I'm scrunching it, it ends up on the scalp. So anyways, let's go ahead and use, look how fast my hair is drying. You can tell it's high porosity with how fast that it dries, just within the few seconds of standing here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Olaplex. I am doing like a full round of treatments of this, so I've been using it for like a month now, every single week, and I usually repeat that process about once a year just to kind of maintain. So you don't have to shampoo before you apply Olaplex. You can apply it straight to your hair because you're supposed to shampoo after, but since I had oil in my hair, I needed to shampoo that out, and I also like to get any product residue out of my hair. That way I can know for sure that it's soaking in because if you have product blocking it from soaking into your hair, it's not gonna do anything and you're wasting the product. So to be safe, I usually just shampoo first, and then I do it a second time after. I'm just going to clip this up with a hair clip and let it sit for 30 minutes. I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes. check so that time I used the shampoo brush and what a difference so my scalp is actually clean now for deep conditioner I'm gonna use this one from Miche this is the indulge moisturizing deep conditioner so the reason I'm deciding to go with a moisture based deep conditioner versus a protein one which is what I typically would use is because the styling product that I'm going to use is high in a protein so I want to make sure I have a good balance of moisture in there so I'm just going to scrunch it now that that's all in, I'm gonna put it up in a plastic hair cap and then my hot head heat cap. I think I'm just gonna do about 20 minutes while I do my makeup and then once I'm done, I'll come back 
and rinse it out and we'll finally be ready to style. So I just did my makeup. I'm starting to lose daylight, but I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out. Okay, so now for the styling product, I'm gonna use the Shea Moisture Mongongo and Hemp Seed Oils High Prosty Moisture Correct Styling Gel. And I want to try to use it on damp hair instead of wet hair. So whenever I'm testing a product, I like to try it out different ways and just see which way that it works best. I've been sharing this one a lot over on my Instagram story. I think I did an IGTV routine with it and I got a ton of volume. Um, I've also tried it out with creams and stuff, but I'm going to try it out today on damp hair and I'm not going to use a cream first. Okay, so I'm first going to apply quite a bit to my hands. I like kind of using a lot because like I was saying, my hair does absorb a lot of product. So I'm just going to comb this through. This does have a strong smell to it. I'm not particularly fond of the smell. It doesn't um, tangle up or anything. It feels pretty moisturizing, which I like. Some Stronghold gels just tangle up my hair so bad. Okay, now I'm going to flip my head over and then try and comb through some of it. Okay, so now I'm gonna break everything up with my hands. Sometimes when I scrunch, I like to gather everything up like this. Now that we're finally done with that, I'm gonna use a heat protectant. This is by Maui Moisture. This is the Color Protection and Sea Minerals Heat Shield Mist. So I've been testing this one out. So far, so good. I don't think I've gotten any split ends. I'm just gonna walk around for like maybe five minutes just to let my hair start to air dry and start to get a little bit of a cast because right now it feels pretty wet. Um, so I just want it to get a little cast before I go in and diffuse. The diffuser that I'm gonna be using is this new one from Conair. This is the Infinity Pro. So I've finally done drying my hair. I would say it's like 95% dry or maybe 98. Like it's just a little damp on top where I like touched it up a little bit. Um, overall, I did have to do a few touch ups on my ends and that just happens sometimes when I diffuse because I do touch the diffuser to my hair to try to get more shrinkage. But if you do have trouble with frizz, not touching the diffuser to your hair and just kind of hovering around your head. Um, so I usually wait till my hair is 100% dry and then I'm going to fluff it and scrunch out the crunch. I have a pretty good gel cast from that gel as you can see. So one little tip for prolonging your wash days and not having to do so much refreshing is you might wanna leave in a little bit of the crunch. So if I wasn't as worried about getting as much volume, if I was just gonna be going to bed, I would totally leave all this crunch in and then just sleep with my hair up in a satin bonnet. That way when I wake up tomorrow, it still looks really good. Um, but since I'm gonna film and stuff today, I do want it to have a little bit more volume. So I'm going to shake out some of the roots. And again, make sure your hands are totally dry and your hair is totally dry when you do this, just so you don't cause any frizz. It doesn't feel crunchy, it feels really soft now. That is our day one wash day. Pretty good volume after I fluffed it. What do you guys think? Hey guys, good morning. So I'm getting ready for work and so I wanna show you just how I typically sleep with my hair up in this satin bonnet. I actually found this one at CVS but I did find you guys a very similar one on Amazon. I actually need to order another one because this one's starting to get a little bit loose on me but the rim of this one is very comfortable as you can see. It's not like a tight band so you wanna look for one that doesn't have like that strip right there if you find that they're uncomfortable sometimes. So I'm gonna take my hair down and we're gonna see how it looks. <laughs> I like how the bonnet always helps with definition, like it kind of holds everything up to your head. Um, so that way when you take it down, you have more volume. So I usually just shake out my roots first, but here's kind of a close up. It's a little bit frizzy. I might have to break up some of these ringlets because they're kind of sitting funny, but um, overall I still have really great volume, which is awesome. I always love the volume I have on day two. And I still have really good definition. I think I just need to touch up you can kind of see in the sunlight. I need to touch up some of these frizzy areas here. So I'm gonna to try to not wet it down too much because I tend to do that when it's actually looking decent. So I'm just gonna wet my hands a little bit and I like to just kind of cut my hands over some of the curls that are just puffy and don't really have very good definition and are frizzy. And that just helps to not break up that curl but also smooth down the frizz. I'm just using water. I like to try to use as little product as possible, especially on just day two, just because over the week, 
it's going to weigh down my hair if I have too much product and then I'll feel like I need to wash sooner. Again, I'm just lifting up pieces and smoothing over them. Okay, now I am gonna take just a little bit of gel and I'm just going to dilute it with a little bit of water. So I just have maybe a dime size amount like that and that's what I'm gonna use for my whole head. And we're just gonna smooth over it. So I'm just like wrapping my hand around it without breaking up the curl and just smoothing over the frizz. Now since these pieces I feel like lost their curl definition, I'm gonna take my Denman brush and try to redefine these. So I'm just gonna wet it down a little bit more. I'm gonna use the Denman brush to create the curl. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but that's the one with the Denman brush. This is the one that's kind of separated and just a little bit wavy. So I'm just kind of doing the face framing pieces. That's all I'm gonna worry about kind of defining. So now I am ready to diffuse. You could air dry, but my hair will air dry just like this. I don't wanna walk out the door with it wet or with it looking this flat and stringy. So that's why I choose to diffuse, but it's better to skip diffusing as much as you can. So if you feel like you can just air dry and then fluff it out, definitely go that route. So now I'm done diffusing and it looks pretty good. I've got that gel cast back, which is what I need to keep it lasting throughout the day and throughout the week. I think it's supposed to rain maybe tomorrow. I thought it was today, but it looks pretty clear today. So we'll see how it holds up in the rain throughout this week. I'm gonna fluff it just a little bit, but I don't wanna scrunch out too much of that crunch because I definitely scrunched out a lot yesterday. And so that's why I had to do more refreshing today. Like I said, I'm not gonna scrunch out too much of it though. Hey guys, quick check-in after work just to update you on how my hair is looking. I did have to touch it up just a little bit in the bathroom. Usually when I do that, I will just add a little bit of water to my hands and just smooth over any frizz and then I'll take like a paper towel and scrunch it up and that really seems to help just like touch up any areas that are looking frizzy. But overall, I think it's holding up really well. This is after maybe 10 hours of wear since I refreshed it this morning and looks pretty good. I have a really bad habit at work when I'm in meetings and stuff of like touching this side of my hair. And the more that you touch it, it will break up the gel cast, which will lead to frizz. I'm really bad about it. I wish I could stop doing it, but it's just like one of those habits where I'm just like kind of playing with it or like messing with the curls. So it always tends to get frizzy right there. This side I don't tend to bother though, so I guess because my hand's on the mouse on the right side, but overall I think it looks pretty good. It's looking a little flat, but I can always just fluff that up to make it look a little bit bigger. Hey guys, so it is like almost 8 a.m. I think. I'm really tired. I had to stay up super late finishing up a presentation that I have to do for work at 12 p.m. today, and I'm gonna work from home today. Um, but I did go ahead and take a shower, so I did wanna show you the shower cap that I use because a lot of people always ask me like, how do you take a shower without washing your hair? And very simple, you just wear a shower cap and this will keep the moisture off your hair. Um, this is from Amazon. I do have it in my Amazon store. I like this one because it's very large. So if you have a lot of hair, it's not gonna mash your hair and it's satin lined. So anything satin lined is awesome in my book when it comes to curly hair and it's adjustable. Usually I don't always refresh if I'm gonna be working from home. Um, because there's just no point like refreshing for me just sometimes can cause breakage and stuff and I'm just adding more product in so if I'm not going to go anywhere usually I won't worry about refreshing. Sorry the lighting's kind of dark because it's early and it's overcast um, but overall my hair doesn't look too bad. It always looks so much better on camera than it does in person. Hopefully that lighting is a little bit better for you guys but overall my hair still feels really good. It actually still feels clean at the scalp which is nice and like I was saying in my check-in yesterday, I really tend to mess with this area when I'm working, which I was definitely doing last night. Hopefully now you can see what I'm, this backside is what has lost its curl shape and just looks a little bit tangled and stringy. But not too bad at all. Usually when I'm gonna be working from home and I don't want to actually refresh, I'll just throw it up in a bun again so I don't mess with it. So all I do for that is I just take a Silk scrunchie, these are from My Case Silk. So I'm just loosely gathering all my hair up. I'm not necessarily combing through, I was just kind of using my hands to make sure I'm getting the curls on the underside layer. And I don't wanna stretch it out too much because I still plan to refresh. So I'm just gonna make sure it's very loose. And then I'm just gonna wrap it around one time, like that, right on top of my head. And since it's so loose in the weight of my hair, since it's long, it's gonna, um, start to fall. So I usually just take a clip like this and I will clip right underneath. So I'm actually clipping the scrunchie to my head. Like I can feel the little bit of the claw clip 
on my scalp and I'm also going over the scrunchie. So I'm sort of like pinning the scrunchie down to my head so it's not going to fall around. And I do this a lot of times also when I work out. I think this is good enough to get me through most of the day and maybe I will show you refreshing later depending on how busy I get. I just took my hair down out of the bun and I don't really feel like refreshing today. I'm sorry if you were looking for another refresh routine today, but this is just real life. My hair is looking crazy. I've been working hard all day and I haven't had time to stop and actually go refresh my hair, but I'm not going anywhere today. I'm just going to finish up the work day here at home. It's like pretty much five o'clock now, so I should be done, but I still have a lot more to get through. Um, but my curls aren't too stretched out, as you can tell. They're kind of clumping together right here, but um, just a little bit stretched out at the root from being up, but not too bad since I do wear it up so loosely. Um, but as you can see, like the underside layer is where it definitely needs refreshing. So it's kind of nice just to skip refreshing sometimes because then I don't have to add too much product to my hair. So we'll see if I can get, that one looks rough. <laughs> We'll see if I can get through tomorrow with just refreshing or if I'm going to do my midweek wash tomorrow. Hope you're enjoying these <laughs> real life check-ins and this is my hair. So it's not always perfect. Some days I don't touch it and it looks rough and some days it looks really good. So you just never know with curly hair. Hey guys, good morning. It is Thursday morning and I just woke up and I think I am going to do just a quick wash. I'm going to use the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk 3-in-1 conditioner as a co-wash. This you can use as a leave-in, a rinse out, or a co-wash. I don't recommend it as your only cleanser though because co-washes don't tend to get your scalp totally clean. But for a midweek wash like this, typically I do this on Wednesday but I'm a little bit off this week um, just since I ended up washing my hair on Monday. So I could go and refresh this but at this point I just feel like if I go ahead and co-wash then at least that could get me through the weekend and then I'll probably wash again on Sunday night. I've definitely lost like the curl definition through here just because I didn't refresh yesterday and you can kind of see the frizz. So I just got out of the shower and I did wrap my hair up in my hair repair towel just to absorb any excess water at my roots and then I usually just re-wet the lengths of my hair with my hands. And so today I'm going to actually be using a cream under the gel. Once my hair was like starting to dry when I got out of the shower, like before I re-wet it, it felt kind of sticky. So I've never felt that before with using that two-in-one conditioner. So I wonder if that co-wash just does not remove this gel very good. This gel does have shea butter in it and some oils and stuff, which are really good for the hair, but I bet it's not enough. I bet the co-wash isn't enough to remove it. So um, I don't have time to rewash or anything and I don't want to strip my hair um, during the week like I just wanted to pretty much remove the excess product and then restyle that way it can get me through the rest of the week but um, I'm definitely probably going to clarify this weekend because I don't know it once it started to dry I could feel like this um, like it wasn't a smooth feeling like it felt like there's a residue left over so um, I really like that co-wash usually but um, for whatever reason I guess it just doesn't remove this very well I guess that's what it was um, just being honest because we that's what we're doing with this video is just walking through how I'm feeling with my hair so I'm gonna layer a little bit of the Amica curl corpse defining cream underneath um, I'm going to use a very small amount of this usually when I use a co-wash I don't feel like I need to use um, like a leave-in or a cream before a gel because co-washes, like I said, don't totally strip the hair. So just that tiny little bit makes my hair feel so soft and good. So now time to go in with the gel. I did test how well these mix beforehand and they don't mix the best. Usually you can tell if you mix the two products together and if it's like very smooth and it completely mixes well, um, then they pair well together. But this one didn't mix the best. It was like, it was creamy, but it was a little bit lumpy. That's why I didn't use very much at all of the cream because I wanna make sure that it doesn't have a weird mixing reaction on my hair. The best gel that I found to mix with that Amica cream is this one from We Dad, the Advanced Climate Control. Now I am gonna brush it through with my Denman brush. I didn't use as much as I did the first time either. Okay, now I'm going to actually add a little bit of water to my hands first and try to break up those curls so just rake my fingers through. Now I'm just going to scrunch. I like to kind of hold my hair together so I don't create more frizz. All right, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of the Maui Moisture heat protectant that I've been using. Okay, so I think I'm actually gonna plop my hair just so it's up out of my face while I go to do my makeup. I don't always plop because sometimes I wonder if it like removes some of the product. I like to plop very, very loose. Like the towel's not even really squeezing my hair. It's kind of just holding my hair up on top of my head. If that All right, so it's been probably 20 or 30 minutes, so 
taking down my hair and it's finally time to diffuse and I gotta get moving <laughs> so I can leave for work. So I'm getting a lot more volume this time compared to my first wash because my scalp has a little bit of that waxy feeling because like I was saying, I don't think the co-wash removes this gel very good, which is actually giving me some hold like to hold my roots, almost like when people like to spray their roots with hairspray in order to tease it. It kind of gives you that texture that you can work with to create volume. So I actually don't mind it. I just have to make sure that I clarify this weekend like I was saying next time I wash um, but other than that I really like how it turned out I think it turned out pretty good yeah I'm good to go now probably till Sunday night when I decide to restyle so I just wanted to check in it is the end of Thursday it's been a really long day and I just wanted to show you how my hair has been looking after this morning's wash it's actually really frizzy. It doesn't show up the best on camera, maybe when I come a little bit closer. It's really frizzy today, but I'm loving this volume that I have and I still have really good definition. So whenever I still have definition in frizz, I don't tend to mind it as bad. So I feel like I still have some good curls going on. It's definitely a lot frizzier than it was the other day, I think because I used less product and I also used that cream underneath. So I wouldn't consider this a completely stronghold gel just yet, like I thought it was at first. So we will see how it is when I refresh tomorrow, but overall I love this volume that I have. I definitely have more volume with this when I just co-wash versus when my scalp is squeaky clean with it. Hey guys, so today is Friday, so it's another work from home day for me, so I'm probably not going to refresh today. If you remember yesterday, I actually restyled my hair with a quick wash and go using a co-wash, um, but my hair still feels fairly clean at the scalp, not as clean obviously as it is when I do like a regular shampoo treatment, but wanted to show you guys up close how frizzy that it actually is. Um, it got pretty frizzy by the end of the day yesterday, as I showed you, but I was actually really liking the volume that I have, so I don't mind it. I don't think it's too bad. I'm starting to lose some definition right here, so if I were to refresh, I would definitely have to um, go back over these areas that are starting to lose their curl, but overall it's not too bad, but I kind of just want to get it out of my face so I won't bother it while I'm working today. Um, and then we'll probably refresh again tomorrow. That way I can actually rewash on Sunday. So might do another low bun like this. Nothing fancy, it's not like styled or anything. It's literally just like throwing it up so I can get through the day. So that's it for today. I probably won't check in tonight, you know, because there's really nothing to see. Hey guys, so today is Saturday. So again, I'm just staying home today and I'm cleaning my house. So I wanted to check in because it's probably the last day. Today, normally I wouldn't refresh it, but I figured since it's so bad that this would be a good opportunity to show you how you can turn your hair from looking really, really rough to refreshing it and how I do like a full refresh. It's very tingly. I've lost majority of my curl pattern underneath. You can see how stringy it hangs. So this is just what happens when I let it go and don't refresh it. You can see how frizzy it is at the top. So yeah, I don't always have good hair days either. And some days I just let it go. Some weeks I'm just not feeling the wash day that I did on day one. So then I just don't even wanna try with my hair the rest of the week. Let's go ahead and refresh this mess. So normally when I refresh, I just like to use a little bit of the curl cream that I used originally to detangle, but I feel like this calls for a leave-in conditioner. So I'm gonna use this one from The Main Choice. This is the Softest Can Be 3-in-1 Revitalize and Refresh Conditioner. You can use this as a co-wash, leave-in, or a detangler. Um, this is available at the drugstore. And also normally when I refresh, I just kinda wet my hands, but I feel like today I need to spray my whole head down. <laughs> So now I'm just gonna load up on the leave-in conditioner and I'm just gonna smooth this over my hair. The fact that people can refresh their hair without detangling is mind-blogging to me and I'm jealous because I wish I didn't have to detangle but I just cannot stand it. When you're doing this, you wanna be super careful because when your hair is wet, it's more fragile and you don't wanna get a bunch of breakage. I definitely- Now that we're finally detangled, it looks a lot wetter than it actually is. It's actually still kind of dry like within the like depths of the top layer. Um, I'm gonna actually take the Denman brush and just comb back through some of the pieces, trying to make some more ringlets. This helps so much. It just helps smooth 
those hairs that are kind of roughed up from being tangled. So I'm gonna take my hair repair towel and actually try to scrunch out some of this excess water. It's already looking better. So now I'm just gonna take some more of the gel and I'm really just going to focus on just smoothing over the hair with this. I'm just gonna cup my hands together, smooth it down to help smooth down the frizz. I might wait like five minutes or so before I diffuse. So now that it's completely dry, I'm gonna fluff out my roots. Still getting really great volume with this, which is the main thing that I like about this gel. I have pretty good hold. Not too much frizz. You can see it looks way better than it did just a little bit ago. All right guys, so that is it. This is the final day that I'm gonna be checking in. I can't wait to get my hair washed tomorrow, but at least I can get through today. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, taking you along the ride each day of the week. If you would like to see more of these, definitely let me know. I've done some of these videos in the past where I took you through a full week of refreshing and extreme humidity in the summer. So I'll link that down below. I'll also list out all the products that I use today and all the tools, everything on the blog post that goes with this video just to keep it all in one place so you can refer back to that blog post. I will put that as the first link in the description box down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I would love to have you join my YouTube family and I hope to see you back next week. Bye everyone.